Hey, what's up, guys? Boy, South Central back with another video, and we got Vivek Robert Swami on The Breakfast Club. And mostly politics when it comes to The Breakfast Club, you got Charlemagne God, who is a race, who is a race baiter, who is not for the black community because he doesn't care. If he did, he cannot vote for or endorse Kabbalah Harris or Joe Biden. It, it just couldn't happen because he would understand that if he was smart, you would look at people's background. You will understand that they don't they're not in the best interest of black the black community. OK, but he's so pro black, the black and they always come to him when it comes to trying to find the answer to the to the black community like he represents us. He does not represent us. OK, he reps he represents a sellout. My thing is, if you're voting against the black, if you're voting against your own interests, you're sellout. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're anything. If you're voting against the, your best interest just to appease the Democratic Party, you are a sellout. You are if you're black, you're a coon. All right. You're a coon. They love calling. They love coon calling. But when it comes to them, they can't be a coon because they're the ones calling people coons. No. If you're voting against your interest, trying to benefit the Democratic Party, who has never who has who does not do anything for black people. OK, who always panhandle for votes, get the vote and does nothing. You are literally voting for the destruction of the black community. You're willingly doing it just because it sounds good. Like, I don't know nobody that's going to keep falling for the same tricks. I don't know nobody that's even black folks in their family as, as, as in their families. Uh, I don't know black a black person that will accept a family member lying to them over and over and over. Like until they just kick them to the curve. Like, but when it comes to the Democratic Party, right, the plantation, they're slave masters. They're very open. OK, they're open to lies. They're open to. Hearing them out again, like, okay, I know you liked the first time, but what's next, guys? Like, nothing happened. I'm tired of it, and I don't need a Charlemagne to God to tell me who's good and who's not, because I, his, his words mean nothing here, all right? You had your chance. It means nothing. But we got Vivek, who I really respect, okay, and his mindset and moving forward in, in the political field, you know what I'm saying? I had some questions before. Which he answered, but I still, you know, I'm still questionable about the, you know, World Economic Forum and the business he had with them. I'm very confused. All right. I don't trust nobody right now fully. All right. I like Trump a lot. I rock with him, but he's not. He's very imperfect, especially when it came to that secret sauce, if you know what I'm talking about. But I really like Trump. All right. I like Vivek. And I think that he will be a great presidential presidential candidate later on after Trump get get the swamp up out of here because he has no chance without the swamp being out because they gonna keep lying unless he, if he do win uh, and, and he ain't he ain't got no assassination attempts I'm, I'm gonna be very very confused all right because you have that strong mindset the way he does you're gonna have severe opposition because they need you to be controlled and they will try to control you and if you're not you're gonna get what Trump got right and more because I think he's not more radical than Trump, and I don't think Trump is radical. I think he's very articulate, and very smart, and and understand what's going on around him, and he needs to, and what he needs to do to fix the swamp and fix the mess that's in this country. But I think that Vivek is, has a very strong mindset and understanding of what's going on as well, and he sees what other people have seen, right? Or he could be putting up a front to get you know get us to like him. I don't know. I like I said, I, I I would hate to be doing a very um a very bad disservice to the community when it comes to being an American and and a patriot, you know, patriot loving your country and a love for your country, um, people. But I feel like sometimes I, I just can't trust people unless they losing something. You gotta lose something, bro. You gotta show me that these people hate you. And if they hate you, I rock with you. That's how I feel. And you know who those people are, Hillary Clinton, uh, the Biden administration, uh, judges, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got to whisper it because I, I like everybody, you know, I'm not suicidal. It feels like at the top of the ticket, you know, the Donald Trumps and even now as Vice President J.D. Vance, they're always trying to take us back. That's why I do like the vice president's slogan, we, we're not going back. It feels like yeah, look, I will say that when it comes to messaging, that was a pretty smart message. People are interested in the future. What I think is missing right now in the race, mm -hmm. it's frankly from both sides, is a hard discussion on policy. That's actually what we need. We're less than three months out. You don't think Kamala is doing a lot better at that than what we were seeing before from Biden? I don't think she has yet given us what her clear policy positions are. 
I think the fact of the matter is the economic policy. I was just on CNBC this morning before mm-hmm. I came here. They're asking me, what do you think of her economic policy? She has not articulated what her economic policies are. Well, she wants to rebuild the middle class. She wants to make well, sure no, everybody but, has but the speci- I'll give you some, some, some examples, yeah. right? Specific policies. A policy is how. She wants to, my ass, how? How have you, throughout your career, how have you demonstrated that you wanted to rebuild the middle class? You have not done anything. You can't just say stuff. We're done with y'all just saying stuff with no backing. I'm tired of that. People are tired of that. We're tired of struggling. You keep saying, well, you know what I'm saying? We, we're worried about the future. We don't want to go back. We do. No. We need to go back and understand what America is. is our, our values in America and, and um how America was built. Right? You got to go back to that to understand what America is. Right? Make America great again. It was great for a reason. We thrive for a reason. We gain all these resources for a reason. Let's go back to that. All right. Understand why we have it so good here. Why everybody is dying to get here and nobody's dying to leave. Even though they, oh, I'm going to leave Trump. You ain't left yet. Go leave. I'm, I'm okay. We're, we're not waiting for you. <laughs> Just go. All right. We won't be waiting for you. We, we're not looking for you. We're not checking for you. Go ahead. Leave. We're good. Good propaganda. But at the end of the day, uh, America's great. The values are great. All right. We need to go back to that. We need to understand why do we deviate from something that worked? Why? Why do the Democrats want that? We ain't. We, I'm not worried about the future. We have no future with the with the mindset they have, the Democrats and the in, in the undercover communists. All right, we don't have a future. So let's stop talking about that. Let's talk about fixing a problem. It, it ain't no moving forward unless we don't we, unless we get rid of these people, folks. It, 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 that's how that goes. And I'm not talking about violently. We're talking about politically. Okay, we're talking about. Um, um, lawfully getting rid of these swamp creatures. We have to, it, it ain't no future without, without doing that. And that's what I think that Trump did in his first term. Here's what he effed up at. Okay. He didn't know who was around him. And I do understand that you come into a situation, you don't know people and you want to give your trust to certain people, which he, you know, had that conversation with Elon Musk. He didn't know who these people was at first, but now he knows. So I would hope that he, you know, he pays attention. He do what he's supposed to do and stop letting people dictate his, his candidacy. In his his cabinet, in his cabinet, because all they do is gonna blame him for all the things that went bad. So hold these people accountable and stop allowing them to play with you. Because at the end of the day, they play with you, they play with us, right? They're trying to get through you to get to us, right? So if they play with you, they playing with us. So at the end of the day, I need you to to hold hold yourself to a higher standard and stop voting, stop allowing these people in, stop endorsing people that don't make no sense, that don't even align with what you're talking about. Stop endorsing fake people, right? Look at their history. Understand who they are, because a lot of times we could tell you that this person, the people that sometimes Trump endorses, terrible people. This is terrible. We already know that they don't even align with what you're doing. Maybe you can pay for. It. I don't know. Maybe they add to your campaign. I don't know. But like I said before, we need to focus on the past to make sure to ensure the future of our country, because we went wrong somewhere. OK, we need to go back in the past. OK, come here. Get everybody that, that that destroyed this country, who took a part in it, because this, it was years and years and years propped of of destroying this country. All right, NWO. Okay, years and years and years of destruct d- destroying this country. All right, and it, it and it took very compliant people and very ignorant people to, in order to do this because they never thought it could happen. This happening before your eyes right now. All right, and that's years of effing up. So we need to go in the past to fix the future. Okay, let's get back into it. She sued the Obama administration when she was California's attorney general for granting fracking permits. That's getting natural gas out of the ground through getting hydraulic fracturing of natural gas. Is she in favor of that now or not? Her advisors are saying she's no longer in favor of that. We don't know. Does she favor extending the Trump tax cuts? The Trump tax cuts, I think, helped a lot of people, middle class included. We just don't know whether she's in favor of that or not. And I think Republicans, by the way, are making a mistake, too. I don't think that going down the road of I think both sides calling this side weird. I don't think that's productive. Now, Republican responses of personal attacks in response. I think we would be better served in this election as Americans if for the next three months we have a vigorous debate on policy. Which policies are better? One political party does not want to do that. All they're doing is saying Trump bad. J.D. Vance, weird. That's all they're saying. It's not rooted around policy. I know you saying what should happen and what could happen and what 
it's not happening for a reason because they have no policy. This is why you're having Kamala. He's too smart to be talking like this. And like maybe I'm saying he's trying to be neutral, but at the end of the day, it, you can't be neutral with, with, with Satanists to me. You can't be neutral with people that's not playing the same field as you. They don't care about policy. They never did because their policy sucks. So what they done, even with Biden against and Trump, the adults are in the room. They ran off that Trump bad. Oh, it, it, it ain't about the policies. Okay, it's not about Yovid effing everything up and, and the plan scamdemic. Yeah, it's not about that. No, 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 no. It's about Trump. The economy went under. Why? They don't care about that, bro. You're trying to have an honest conversation with people that mean harm to you. That don't care about being honest. It's like you swearing under oath and this person swearing under oath, but you really believe in God for real. You swearing with your heart. You swearing with your soul. You swearing with your mind because you invested into that. Okay, you believe in that. A person that's swearing who don't give a crap about telling the truth, like, nigga, this, this don't mean nothing to me. I'll swear in good, okay? This is this, not my values, but I'll do it. You, you, you're playing and you're trying to play fair with a beast. They don't care about fairness. All they care about is winning. Still kill and destroy. Still kill and destroy. That's all they want to do, right? War. Steal. <laughs> you should know what I mean by stealing now at this point, right? Suitcase under the table. Drop boxes everywhere. Yeah. Destroy. Okay, look at all these immigrants. That's all they do, right? Demons, devils. That's what they do. They're good at it. Because you got good average Americans who don't want to lose, who don't want to be sit who don't want to be uncivil. We want to be. We want we want what you want. We really want what you want, Vivek. But it ain't gonna happen because they don't play the same rules. It ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry. They don't run like that. They never did. They don't have good policies, so they're not going to run by policies. They run by, I'm a better candidate because I'm not bad. And guess what? The media says I'm not bad. And I got the big stream media backing me with this. I got the uh, um, these celebrities backing me up, right? I mean, it's different now because you got streamers, big time streamers, telling it like it is and actually having real conversations with a former president without being controlled and having teleprompters up and, and saying, hey, you can't ask certain questions. If you do, I'm going to leave. Or I have propped up questions just before you get there. If you got to ask me that you can ask me that you're allowed to on your oh yeah, on your platform. It's not fake anymore. The cat's out the bag. We hold people accountable, but we're not going to hold people accountable by being nice, by asking for fair, free and fair policies, by asking for free and fair um debates no it's gonna be on cnn where people can interrupt and people because hey don't say this trump you mean stop being mean that's all it is it got to be in a controlled environment you're gonna have a conversation with obama have a conversation with oh biden have a conversation with hills up yeah you're gonna have you it's gonna have to be a controlled environment you can't have a regular conversation with these people because they lie and cheat and steal that's what they do i'm sorry vivek it, it ain't gonna happen let's get back into it they're gonna lift up americans yeah, I don't think, uh, I, and I, we're not doing it yet. The reason I don't like the, I'm not gonna say I dislike the term weird. I just think it undersells a lot of the damage that Republicans are doing to this country, just labeling it weird. But I, I think, think there's, it's not useful. I, I think I, you want to go after the policies, go hard in the paint. I believe politics should be about sharp elbows when it comes to policy debates. But when it comes to just saying that, oh, you're not normal. Normal compared to what? Well, I think right? abolishing women's reproductive rights, you know, is is, is a little bit more than weird. I but think he, but I, here's here's where we should have the policy debate in that. For him to be a black man, like I said before, he's not for the black community. Because guess who they target? Guess where most of the abortion clinics are? Guess what Planned Parenthood started? Why Planned, Planned Parenthood started? Right? Either he's not, either he's not smart or he's willfully ignorant and arrogant. Because it doesn't benefit us. Mr. Black Lives Matter, Mr. CNN, Mr. Speaking for Black Folks, you don't care. You don't care. Say that. So I I already know you don't care, but talk to your constituents and tell them you don't care. You should be focused on music. This 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 not your realm. You're not good at this. You don't care about no black folks. The niggas who care is the ones who telling you, bro, stop killing your babies. Stop. They don't care about you killing your babies. They want you to. All right. Anybody who who's pushing you and, and endorsing your your bad behavior hates you. They don't like you. They sell your baby body parts online. You benefit them like that. You don't benefit them by, oh, you know, well, see, she just didn't want the baby. No, they get benefit off of you. Foolish. You foolish punk. Do you not get that? 
But you still sitting here spinning like you care about black people. That's why I can't listen to folks like that. I can't. Just because he got a platform don't mean that he's telling the truth and he's willing to tell the truth and that he did his research and he did enough research to, to understand what the heck is going on. Dude's a bum. To me, you're a bum. You're politically a bum. You're intellectually a bum. You're stupid. I can't listen to you. I can't because you're, you are you are part of the destruction of the black community, bro. Okay? And that's for real. We're going to get back into it. Charlemagne a dork. Because this is so interesting coming out of the Republican convention. Donald Trump to the ire of a lot of Republicans, is opposed to a national ban on abortion. So am I, by the way, and I said so in the Republican debate stage. I was in the minority last year when I say that I am opposed to a federal ban on abortion, just on constitutional principle. Should at least leave it to the states. That made a lot of conservatives and a lot of Republicans upset. And yet it's a weird position to now adopt, where if you do listen to a lot of the Kamala Harris campaign, they say he will sign and enact a federal ban on abortion. That's actually just not true because, like it or not, he actually takes heat from many in the conservative. He pushed it to the states. He said, hey, let's let let let's stop trying to handle this federally and force states to do things that they don't believe or their constituents or the people who who are in these states who who represents the voting polls, who re who who basically represent this state. They don't want that there. Right. If majority of this state don't want that here, it shouldn't be there. It's just facts. It just shouldn't be there. And you shouldn't federal you shouldn't force that on them. And you got some who who want that stuff. All right? Who say no? We all for it. We love selling your your baby body parts on, online. We do. Okay? We we want to do it up to nine months. It's up to the state. I don't agree with it, period. But I understand I'm just one person in this world, okay? I'm not gonna force my 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 um my thing, my thinking on you, but don't force your thinking on me. I think it's murder, and I and I believe that. I think that we we should we should care about every life. Every life matter, not just the woman's life, not just the the black lives. It's not just LGBTQ, not all not all them, not just them. Everybody's life matter. All right, everybody deserves to live until until they start acting a fool and killing. You know, doing doing unruly things. Right. That 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 caused harm upon other people. Yeah, I, I understand. You know, I don't know about the death penalty, but all I'm understanding is that I'm not saying they don't deserve to live, but they reserve, they deserve some type of punishment. OK. And that might be life in prison. Now, to me, that's death. All right. That's death right there. But at the end of the day. When it comes to abortion, it doesn't benefit black people. It doesn't. It's just the destruction of black community. OK. And I don't agree with that. But Trump did not push federally banning abortion okay he we, we all know that but there it is fear-mongering propaganda that's what they do okay still kill and destroy misinformation disinformation but they're the one calling it let's get back into the full camp for his opposition to that ban so why abolish roe v, roe v wade why say well, the supreme like, court why, decision why say things like you want to get rid of uh, abortion abortion pills i mean you say it's a supreme court decision but he takes the credit for it he says i'm the reason that this happened well look i think that there's a legal and constitutional question of he appointed them. That's why he's taking the credit. He appointed these people who have got rid of Roe v. Wade because it's unconstitutional and it's stupid. The federal the federal system should not tell states what they should be what they should allow and what they shouldn't allow. It should be to the people of that state. That's what it's that's what it's basically about. The people got the power again, not the not the not the government. And you you for that you a coon. You you are a coon whether the federal government should be involved in any of this in the first place. I tend, to come from, I tend to come from a pretty I tend to come from a pretty libertarian leaning school of thought. I want the federal government to be doing basically as little as is required to make sure the country is secure and people are allowed to live their own lives. I think Republicans can own a message even of, you know what, to the LGBT community, the gay community. You're free to marry who you want, if you want, without the government standing in your way. But that also doesn't mean that men get to compete with women in women's sports, something that's even relevant coming out of the Olympics. I agree. So the more we're focused on that type of policy debate, and here's a litmus test I'd give you. That, wasn't, both a, that wasn't a woman, though. We gotta be, that, I mean, well, that, no, that was a that, woman. So the, the boxer, that's a more complicated case. Yeah, yeah, it's intersex. Yeah. XY chromosome, though, yeah. right? But I'm talking about actually people who have male sex organs, people who have XY chromosomes that are competing in women's swimming I competitions, agree. right? Those are debates we ought to be able to have. And the litmus test for both sides is this. Whether you support Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, can you make the case for your candidate without actually referencing the other side? 
So my challenge actually to a lot of the Kamala Harris supporters is the most of the case that I hear involve invoking Donald Trump. What is the case for Kamala Harris that does not involve referencing Donald Trump at all? I think that's missing right now. Oh, I got it. I got it. And for Republicans, I'd give you similar advice, too. What do we stand for? Not just what are we against. What do we actually stand for? Offer that vision. And I think the country will be better off if both sides I, step up I, and do that. I agree with you. I think both parties need to be talking about nothing but the issues at this point. Because yep. No, you, y'all trying to erase history. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't talk about Kamala Harris because it benefits her. If you don't talk about her and her past and you don't talk about her and her policies and what she's done in this administration, it, it's, a, it's a perfect blank slate. No, we have to talk about that because she's for the destruction of the, of the country. We have to talk about that. That's what you do. That's what everybody does. Oh, well... Don't bring up the other person. I'm sorry. They, that's that's a debate. That's what you do. You bring up the other person. It's like having a. You can't just say, "Hey, I'm on the debate stage, and this person is attacking me and my policies and what I've done in this administration and my administration. How, you know, what I did in my administration to cause harm to the American people. Because you have to basically talk about the inconsistencies or the 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 bad things that this person has done to persuade people to vote the other way. You have to. You can't just say, "Well, let's just talk about uh, let's just talk about me." Like people get tired of hearing about you. They want to know what makes you better than this person. Because I'm in the middle. I don't know who to vote for. Right? I'm not in the middle. Y'all know who I'm voting for. Trump, baby. But what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, there's people in the middle. They want to know what what sets those two people aside. And a lot of people, even though they can't use their eyes to see what was different, a lot of them still on 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 the on the on the in the middle because they have social pressure. And I literally think that's just the case. It's just social pressure pushing people to make terrible decisions. All right, because they want to fit in. But after they fit in, you have no country. Okay, if everybody else is trying to run to America, but if once America falls, where do we run to? That's what I want to know. What do we run to? We allowed it. Okay, but at the end of the day, her policy is that I'm black. That's just what she runs off of. I'm just black. It ain't. It. That's the difference right there. I'm black. That's it. And fuck my policies. I'm just black. You wanted, you wanted, he wanted to give a, a oh, uh, she's running off the, no, she's running off, she's black. Hey, Trump bad, that's it. Trump bad, I'm black. I can understand you, right? Hillary Clinton with the hot sauce out of, out, out her purse. Nigga, you just, you ain't black. You just scrubbed the, 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 the red dot in the middle of your head off and said I'm black. That's what you did, okay? No, you're not black. You're not. You didn't grow up in, co you didn't grow up like that. So stop, stop. But you got dumb black weirdos like, um, Charlemagne, the, the the loser, trying to propagate and prop up her by saying, look, look, you know, she's a good candidate. I don't understand why. No, she's not. She's never been a good candidate. She's very unpopular. She's always been very unpopular, even with the constituents of the Democratic Party. It's not nothing new. Why? Ask yourself, why don't people like her? What has she done in the California? I'm from California. All right. I might not be from San Francisco, but you hear about her. All right. Her name ring bells when it comes to being unjust, being heavy handed against black folks. Okay. But she, oh, she's a black woman. Is she get up out of here? I'm not saying don't do her job, but she, she was heavy handed. She did a lot of unnecessary things. Okay. But I'm supposed to just believe she black now. Stop. It's only convenient to y'all. And like I said, you're not even holding her accountable. How could you like a person, but you pro black, you black and black, and black, black, get your black, get your weird behind up my face, man. You a coon, bro. You a coon because you're not doing what, what's in the best interest of black people. You're not. You're just you're just pushing propaganda for the for the Democratic Party. I don't know if they're paying you for it because they have to be. If you really think what you think, okay, you're political shield, bro. You're you're a bot. You're just one of the big bots with a voice. People are out here hurting, and people want to know how you're going to put money in their pocket yep. and how you're going to keep them safe. Yep. Whoever can speak to those things to the next. 80 plus days, that's who wins this election. Mass illegal immigration. We don't want no talking, though. Who, whoever could sound better. We don't want no sound better. This We already know. This is your, this is Kamala Harris administration. The stuff that we in right now, this is her administration. Right now. This is what she has to offer. Right now. I don't need no more answers. I'm seeing what I needed to see. I'm quick to cut a mother F off, bro. I don't need to keep being lied to to understand. Oh, I, I lied. No, you did it too many times. I don't need that no more. I'm good. I'm Gucci, bro. I'm straight. Stay over there now. Leave me alone. Because now you're playing with me intellectually. You did enough. We good. I allowed you to play with me. Now the second time, same on me. You, nigga, you, you allowed her to play 30 times. She's been around for a very long time. She don't, she don't represent us.
like she us. don't represent us and it's not it, it, it's not hard to see that unless you just don't want to see it why do i need to keep hearing her talk why and laugh and giggle i don't have time bro there's people losing their life there's people starving right now okay don't even know how, how the hell to handle this situation right now as far as bills don't make enough money bro can't find jobs why do uh, immigrants are coming inside their illegal immigrants are coming inside their their communities why do i want to hear anything she have to say to me why she was a part of this administration that that was for the destruction of the community. Or oh, if they talk if, if, in the last 80 days, if you talk about, I don't care about talking no more. That's not, that's what you're not understanding. We don't care about that no more. You did enough talking. What's up? I'm looking into your past because your past matters. You, you never showed that you cared. Now you care? Stop it. I'm holding you accountable. And I'm holding niggas like you accountable because you trash. Your mindset is trash. You keep giving chances to people that don't care about you. All right. And I'm, I'm sure you're in that upper echelon now. So it don't affect you. Those people that starving, you don't you're not affected. Who cares? All right. I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm middle class. But at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not I'm not happy that my fellow Americans are starving while these illegal immigrants are getting financial aid from the government that I pay for. Just to F me and come after me if I, if I miss a dollar on, on taxes. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And I'm not playing with people, bro. And I'm not going to listen to y'all no more because y'all don't deserve a voice. The people that have a voice don't deserve it. Because they, they, y'all not even neutral with it, bro. The only thing you can agree on is a, is the same-sex foolishness. Right? The, 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 the men not battling women and fighting women. That's the only thing you can agree on because you can see it out your eyes. The, the, the detriment that it's causing. But... You need to touch back into the hood, and not just talk to rappers that's that's that got million dollar deals. You need to come t tap back into the hood and see what's happening, bro. Right? Go to California and see what she had done to the community, see what illegal immigration have done to the community. And this is this is way before the border crisis. I mean, we've been dealing with that in California, bro. We've been dealing with that in L.A. All right, it ain't nothing new because the border right there, gangy. I don't know about Texas; it's, it's close to Texas too. But I I feel for my countrymen. Period. That's not supposed to happen that way. It's wrong. But at the end of the day, we're allowing this stuff and we playing games and we saying, oh, we need to hear her more. Whoever speaks to that. She can't speak no more to no to us, bro. The only reason she got an ear to certain black dumb people is not because of her policies, because she's just black, period. That's it. And I don't and I don't call her black because she ain't raised black. How you how you black and you and you so quick to convict the person that's that's innocent, that's black, that's a black male. You have to resonate like you, you got to see that that's wrong. I don't I don't even understand like what we talking about here. I can't even back a person like that, man. I know it's more information on this uh on this interview and I can do a part two if y'all need me to, bro. But right now I'm, I'm not I can't do it, man. Like I can't do it, bro. Like and I and like I said, man, I love I love to do reviews on stuff like this. But at the end of the day, man, like. Like, bro, this this gets annoying, bro. I never I don't like Charlemagne. I just don't, bro. I don't like him, bro. I don't respect him. Like, how could you even like, why are you even giving ear to her, bro? Like when Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. You should have got on his head right then and there. Like it just, it was an interview that, that, that stuck, <laughs> that, that stuck for real because you interviewed him. I'm not saying it made a difference, but at the end of the day, it's like, why you keep giving an ear to these people? And I, I, I'm cool that your platform is neutral, but you, you push that you push the liberal agenda every time when when a, a um conservative right wing person come up there, bro. Like you trash, bro. Your mindset is trash, and I hate that people keep listening to you and 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 validating your words. Like it means something. It don't mean anything, bro. It, you're just a political shield, bro. And you're 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 a bot. You're paid and bought for. You paid you paid and uh you paid and bought, bro. It, it it's it's sad to say that, but. Like every time I hear you talk about Kamala Harris, it's never nothing about what she did wrong, bro. And if you do, maybe I didn't watch it. I'm, or maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm giving disinformation, misinformation. But your energy towards her is not as as heinous as it should be, right? Or not as not as firm as it should be when she did what she did. Like you can't, like you don't get the black card just because you look black, bro. You didn't grow up black. What are you talking about, right? And nobody should be. And I think it's foolish and stupid to be going back and forth about somebody's black but if you running off that i'm going to attack that because what makes you black like for real you ain't what just because you smoke a little weed quote unquote no no you're 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 heels up that's what you are stop you don't smoke weed you heels up that's what you do 
You effed your way up there, okay? You're a bum. You're a political bum. Nobody likes you. But at the end of the day, we got to keep hearing conversations about you like you just propped up candidate. And he's, like I said, this is propaganda, bro. And I, maybe I'm going too hard, man. I don't know, man. South Central, we out. We be really politicking while we whipping in the kitchen. God be my witness. At the age of 15, I was fighting my fitness. My life so 